Are you struggling to close more of your guys' health and fitness coaching clients? Stick around because in this video, we're gonna be talking about five sales disadvantages, disadvantages, okay? And what this is gonna do is actually help you close more of these health and fitness coaching clients, okay? Because you gotta understand that sales is your number one skill set that you need to produce cash flow, okay? There's no argument about it, okay? So stick around. We've helped out over 850 health coaches and professionals get better at sales soon. This is why we have two sales skill drill trainings per week with our accelerator mentorship soon. So stick around for this, for these five sales disadvantages and how you guys can overcome them. So sales disadvantage number one is not building enough report ruins your sales opportunities, okay? So if it's online, context-wise, it's not as simple to build a report as it is in person, right? It's a different dynamic on there, okay? So there's some ways around that, but you have to build some sort of report because people have to know, like, and trust you, okay? So some tactics you can use as a health and fitness coach to do that and build rapport before the actual sales call, let's say it's on phone or Zoom, right? Is what we call is a set call. That's a 15 minute call where you ask a list of questions, right? And you're basically just getting to know people. You're qualifying them and you're building rapport, right? To see if they're even a good fit, if they have the financial means, if they have a problem, because if they don't have any of those things, why would you sit there and waste 45 minutes or 60 minutes on a, a formal like sales call per se and, and do that if they're not gonna have any of those things right there, right? You're gonna waste your time and you get frustrated. Another thing is on the pre-call booking page as well too. So if somebody books on like a Calendly or a call scheduler like that, have like the redirect go to like a pre-booking page where there's a video where they can get to know, like, and trust you, right? So sales disadvantage number two is being poorly dressed ruins your guys' sales opportunities, okay? So with this, just think about it, right? If you were to go somewhere like, to a gym or if you went to a clinic or a practice and somebody was poorly dressed, right? I don't like to judge, right? But sometimes your instinct is you're just gonna judge a book by its cover. It is what it is, right? Why would you sit there and be poorly dressed if you guys are going to a Zoom call just because it's online or virtual, right? And you guys have a sales call with somebody, okay? So again, I'm not, I'm no fashionista or anything like that. I don't have any fashion tips or anything like that, right? But you have to understand some sort of basic knowledge of like what that looks like in your sense, right? That, that actually fits your personality, your brand, what have you of being what we call, you know, dress to impress, right? Because once you get on that Zoom call, that's the first thing people are going to sit there and do is like, they're going to be like, okay, this person, uh, do they look professional? Are they confident? Are they certain? Outside of like all the sales tactics out there that people teach you, right? Persuasion, um, you know, like your deliverables, your high ticket offer, all these different things. I would boil down sales of two different things, right? It's really, it's confidence slash certainty. And the next thing is curiosity, right? My belief is that if you actually dress to impress, that's going to increase your confidence and that's going to increase the other person's confidence, the prospect on the other side to be like, hmm, they look like they're confident. They look like they, they know what they're talking about. They look like they're professional. All right. Hopefully you're enjoying this video on the sales disadvantages. If you're a health and fitness coach, we highly recommend you click the link below because we actually have an awesome free workshop for you. And it's really around how you, the health professional can install a proven system to build a six figure business. So keywords is install. It's not build it, right? Because we have a blueprint for you. And that's what that whole training is about. How you can sit there and install a proven system to build a six figure business so you can create more income, impact, independence. So check the link out below, click that and watch that free workshop. So sales disadvantage number three is low energy and being tired ruins your guys' selling opportunities. Okay. So I have some quick stories that I'm going to share with you guys, like within like my sales, like when I was doing health and fitness coaching, even sometimes when I do now with like um, our dynamic fit pros brand too, is I've made the mistake where I either number one, I've had sales calls like at seven in the morning, guys, that is not a good time for me to do it, right? I'm up at five, but by seven, I'm still not in that mode where it's just like my energy super high done also sales calls like at 7 30 8 o'clock p.m right and i'm just like by that time my brain is toast right and i still need to be like present with my family my son all that stuff just be aware of that right like when is the most time that you are most productive and have the most energy maybe it is in the morning maybe it's midday right maybe it is towards the evening i don't know it's all dose dependent on there right but you got to find that time to block out for those sales calls on your guys's calendly call scheduler to where it's like you're only going to take these certain times because you know out of self-awareness and from experience that this is where your highest like energy is where you're most productive where you can serve the most i used to listen to grant cardone's book sell or be sold i would listen to one chapter on that 10 minute walk and man that would fire me up it reframed my mindset to be like you know what i am selling right but selling is serving that's that's what i'm doing right all right sales disadvantage number four is in being too much of a hurry ruins your sales opportunity so being in a hurry okay so <laughs> trust me guys i've been at this for 14 years selling you know basically health and fitness for the first like eight, nine years, right? And then the, for the past five years doing B2B with our mentorship, right? Helping health and fitness coaches. So I've made all these mistakes with these sales disadvantages. That's why I laugh, right? Because 
I know when there's times when I was in the sale and I'd just be rushing, right? I'd wanna just ask the questions. I just wanna get the sale over with or the prospect I just knew in my head wasn't gonna be a good fit or there's questions they were saying that were annoying me or excuses or objections or resistance that were annoying me and frustrating me, right? So I just wanna just rush through the whole sale. But listen guys, at the end of the day, it's not about us, right? Because if we sit there and rush through the sales process and this call, we're gonna lose the sale. In sales, it's an energy transfer. People can feel the energy transfer. It doesn't matter if it's in person or if it's over Zoom, they can feel the energy transfer, right? And they know when you're you're just rushing through them like cattle, just asking quick questions, question, 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 uh-huh, 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 just question, question, yeah, 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 question, question, question. They know that, they feel that. And when you do that, they're not gonna sit there and be like, oh, this person cares about me. They got my back, they got the, my best interest. I'm actually not gonna invest in this person. I'm gonna go with somebody else that actually does care and, and they actually have my best interest and I'm gonna give them my hard-earned money, okay? Because this is why I have a beautiful visually appealing like Canva template, what we do with our accelerator students is we have them have a pre-built Canva template to walk through a presentation on there. And what that does is it calms people down a little bit, right? To where it's like they know every single step along with their call guide, where they're going through in the Canva template, right? The agenda, the pain point, the pleasure, which is their deliverables, the investment, right? And then the objections, all that stuff, the follow-up, right? Not only is it super professional too for them because they can see everything visually because there's a lot of visual learners, especially over Zoom. It also helps you the coach because you're going to slow down a little bit and be like okay chill relax i got this i'm the expert here right all right sales disadvantage number five is not being a good listener and asking good questions can ruin your guys' selling opportunities and if you don't listen to the prospect man and you sit there and kind of ask the question again they're going to step back like this right and they're going to be like what the hell like i just told this person that like why would they ask me the same question so you have to listen because then you can tie it back in as leverage in the deliverables in the resistance part the objections whatever it is on there okay guys and here's what's funny too is like a lot of health and fitness coaches think that like it's just all about the next sale right it's all about closing clients i mean yeah there's some truth to that but another thing is like how do you sit there and actually keep your guys as clients that actually paid you guys money how do you retain them for longer than 12 months how do you keep them in your ecosystem for six to 12 months where you guys have that monthly reoccurring revenue. So watch this video right here because I'm gonna teach you guys how you guys can sit there and keep your guys' clients to get them to pay, stay, and refer for a lot longer.